Four trauma service areas in Texas now exceed the 15% COVID hospitalization threshold that used to allow local counties to roll back business capacity. But the governor's latest executive order no longer allows local governments to make those restrictions. KXAN's Maggie Glenn explains how counties are handling the surge without being able to enforce any COVID precautions. I hope the residents heed the warnings. Hayes County Judge Ruben Becerra urges his residents to mask up again as hospitals take in more COVID patients this week, but he can't force them. He's frustrated the governor has stripped local government officials' power to mandate masks and roll back business capacity. When the governor has 254 county judges, I'm one of, there's a huge dynamic variation from hot red zones to not a single COVID in the county. I find it a little bit of a blunt instrument to roll out statewide uh, limiting control of those that are in charge and uh, directing their local emergency management response. Doctors are concerned about the lack of enforcement, especially since only 53% of the state's eligible population is fully vaccinated. When you pair the combination of relatively low vaccine uptake with relaxed mitigation strategies, that's a formula for a significant surge in the activity of the pandemic. The timing is also concerning. Travis County Judge Andy Brown wishes the state would at least give school districts the power to mandate masks. We're about to have a whole bunch of unvaccinated kids in close quarters going back to school. Doctors hope Texans choose personal responsibility. Just because you can't be required to wear a mask or required to socially distance doesn't mean that you shouldn't choose to do those things when you're going to engage in activities that are more risky. Maggie Glenn at KXAN News. The governor has reiterated the importance of getting the vaccine, but has made it clear he will not return to previous COVID restrictions. His office says state leaders are working on a plan to address hospital staffing concerns as those hospitalizations continue to rise. In the past, when one area had high levels of transmission, medical workers from other parts of the country could come in to help handle the load. That could be more difficult with this latest wave. Take a look at this. This map shows a time lapse of levels of community COVID transmission in every county in the continental United States over the past month. In early July, most American counties were in the blue and yellow levels. Blue indicates fewer than 10 cases per 100,000 persons. Yellow signifying between 10 and 50 cases. Now more than 60% of the country is in the red zone. And that indicates a seven day average of more than 100 cases per 100,000 people. Many hospitals are requiring their workers to get the COVID vaccine, but that isn't the case for St. David's Healthcare, and we reached out today to ask why. A spokesperson referred us to a statement from the company. It says while vaccines are not mandatory for St. David's workers, their infectious disease experts are strongly encouraging vaccination. 